coin jar counter. So you put uh, you put money in it. Every time you put money in, you add one. Every time you take money out, you take one off. Um, it's got um, an extra bit of code in there, so you can't go overdrawn. You can't go below yes, zero. Of uh, and then if you want to know whether you've met your savings goal or not, you shake it. <laughs> so we're not quite there yet. So if we okay. get to uh, savings goal is five, then we get a happy face. <laughs> good. But that's a tiny, tiny, tiny little block to spray it. Mm -hmm. And you say, well, how do you take the numbers off? So yeah. you can't paste that and change it to minus one. And then uh, we did an event at the, the Big Bang in Colchester, and a little girl was coding. She said, oh, I can go overdrawn. I said, well, it's your code. You can change it. Yes. So she came up with, you know, with the if statement. Um, and we said, what else could we do? And then there was this idea of, you know, when you shake it, it's like shaking the, the coin, coin jars, see if there's enough money in there or not. Uh, we've done other ones where kids have done um, like an, a, a little a logo on there. Um, so it's like an, an, an empty uh, half full and a, and a full. Yeah. Um, it's quite quick to get going. Um, we normally... Um, First thing you do is just do like a little name badge with someone. Um, and uh, we try and introduce programming concepts when they're needed rather than, than force them on them. So that's not a very good name badge because it stops after one name, isn't it? So, yeah. so a good thing to do is to uh, say so we can do looping. So let's have a little loop around that. Uh, we'll just permanently. That's great. That's a good name badge now. And then we can say, well, instead of being just a name badge, you could be a mood badge. So, what sort of mood are you in? Well, whoever Jess is, I don't know who Jess is, but she could be in a happy mood. And then let's have a little delay on there. So that... Smiley face. Smiley face, so we get Jess's name badge with her name on. What sort of mood is Jessie in today? Okay. Oh, she's in the happy mood. <laughs> so we did this with some teachers, and then we, so we had this idea that um, so that's output. Let's get some input in there, so we can say um, uh, when you press button A. So you're walking around the class, and you're in a happy mood, so the children can laugh and joke with you. Um, and if you press button B, then let's say we're in a bit of a grumpy mood. Oops. So they have to be really well behaved for the lesson. So then the teacher can change between happy and sad. So, hello, you all right again? So it's happy teacher, it's sad teacher. The uh, loading onto the microbit is really easy. So this runs inside a browser. So once you've got it in the browser, it will stay there. You don't need to be connected to the internet. Um, there's a, an in-browser compiler. Um, they've, um, they've written the compiler in JavaScript, so you don't have to be connected to the cloud anymore like you used to be. Download the file. Um, this advertises itself as a USB memory stick. So you drag that onto the memory stick. It's not a memory stick, but it's the same interface. Okay. And that uh, stores, the stores the code in flash memory. And it's flashing now. And then we have a, a happy teacher and a sad teacher. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, is, are you a teacher or a developer? No, I'm a blogger. You're a blogger? Great, okay. So, um, one of the things that's quite cool is that the... Um, uh, the, the the code, the actual source code. So I'm a developer, and um, if you have to manage source code and object codes so at the input and the output, uh, children will keep this file and they forget about this one. You can save this one. So there's a there's a, um, a compressed version of this inside the hex file. So what you can do is you can, if they've lost the original program, as long as they've got the hex file, they can go into import code and load the hex file back in, and it will pull it apart oh, and okay. recover the code. Um, so the, uh, the last thing to show you is, so from here, after a while you'll run out of space on the screen. Uh -huh. um, uh, there's, no, there's no procedures or functions, so you'll run out of steam in this editor. So there's a, a very good opportunity to upgrade into a textual language. So okay. That's a, a one so way. It's for more advanced. More advanced. Um, so this is a language called Touch Develop that's designed by Microsoft, and um, basically it's written so it works very, very well on touch surfaces. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I was out and about the other day, uh, and on my phone, and I've got a 
quite an old small phone okay. um, uh, and this loads into the browser and you can touch these on your phone um, you don't need a keyboard yeah. um, and the the on-screen simulator runs on the phone as well uh, and it's contextual so it will offer up uh, so uh, it will offer up on the palette what makes sense at that position. So, so. you can connect that uh, microbit to your phone and upload uh, you can do, yes. your so, program from yeah. your phone directly to yeah, the microbit. Yeah, the Bluetooth. Okay. So if you go over and see the Samsung people over there, they will show you that working, they have an app. Okay. Um, and there's um, uh, a couple of things you can do with that. So you can, uh, you can write your code and upload it over Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is you can, um, in here there are various events in the devices, so you can say, tell the camera to um, take a photo. So you can uh, make it so that when you press the button, it says a Bluetooth low energy message to your mobile phone. So you set your phone up over there, um, and then you get together in a group of friends, and you press the button, and it takes the photo. So you can use it as a remote control? Remote control. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and there's loads of things you can do here. Uh, I think they've got some, some things in the other, the other direction as well, but um, Let's have a look, see what else we got. But Samsung will, will show you. Let's uh, cut that out. Uh, on notify, tell camera to raise alert. You can pop up messages. Uh, the phones have um, um, a toast, which is a pop up message. You can pop up messages on the phone. I think you can um, change the volume control of the media player and start and stop tracks and things. You can use it as a media okay. controller. And of course, anything you can do on the mic of it can send those messages. So you can say, um, when I turn, so it's got a compass in it, so you can say, when I turn it right, oh. choose next track. When I turn it left, choose previous track. Great. Um, all sorts of things. Very good. So, and this uh, micro bits available to buy or is it just for schools? So the, um, what the BBC are doing is they're releasing uh, 1 million to UK schools year 7, so first year secondary school, um, and uh, you should go and chat to, to Jo and she can tell you what the, the full story is, but um, there's going to be some scheme where you can uh, make commercially available after that and people know how to buy them. So it's about this, this schedule this year? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, it's coming out this term. So we're, we're, we're okay. almost ready to go. If you go and speak to Joe, I think she'll probably give you the official BBC message.